Hello, happy Friday. You made it to Friday. Good for you, good for me. Had a great day today. One of our local consignment shops is going out of business. So I got a lot of good buys today. I'll be excited to show those uh, to you over the next few days and so. Welcome to Chocolate Lot One. My name's Beth. I'm a designer with Chocotour. Come on here every day around four o'clock and do a fun project, easy. Um, anyone can do it. If you can spread butter, you can do this. I guarantee it. Um, so if you're watching, please comment. If you see the little red rectangle that says live, that means you're catching um, me live. If, not, if it's not there, you're catching the replay. But leave me a comment anyway. Um, comment hashtag replay. And I go back and read all the comments. They mean the world to me. They really do. Um, like and follow this Facebook page and sprinkle this to your other DIY crafty friends. Um, I'll do that as soon as it comes up. Yes, you know, I don't know. Facebook is so mm, finicky sometimes. Let's see if it comes up over here. I don't know. We'll just give it a second here. No, nope, not there. I have to switch back and forth between my personal profile and the business page, so um, I never know where to look for it. I'm not tech savvy, you know, I wish I was a little bit more, but I think it just takes really playing with it. I'll just leave it here. Oh, there it is. There it is. So let me open that up. It helps because then I can see the comments on the iPad. Hi, Jane. How are you? Uh, let me see if I can read your comment over here. Yeah, there was some really fun stuff, wasn't there? I really liked seeing all that stuff today. Let's see if we can share this to the group now. There we go. Oh no, it's not going to let me do that. Oh, I'll do it later. Let's get started on our project. One of the things I got today was this really cool, it's half gallon. And I think it's a milk jug, but I'm going to use it for making sun tea. I'll just put, have to find something to put over the top of it. But we're going to ink on it, raised on sweet tea and sunshine. We'll add a couple of these little lemon squeezes, maybe some, maybe some of the juicy squirts down there. So let's get started. When you're inking, our ink is permanent. And in order to make it permanent on a ceramic or a glass um, piece, um, you're gonna heat set it. And first you wanna make sure you have a really clean surface. So I take an alcohol swab and we're gonna clean the surface off. That's just gonna get off any fingerprints, grease that, you know, oils that, that might've got on there. So I'm just gonna wipe this quickly off. Then we'll, um, when we're done, I'll let it dry overnight. And then we'll, um, I'll put it in the oven, in a cold oven, set the temp at 350, and let it come up to heat from cold, so it goes in the cold oven, comes up to 350, and then I leave it in there to uh, bake for uh, 30 minutes. Let the oven completely cool down, um, and then you're, you know, wash it and you're ready to go. I would hand wash um, your ink things. You have a better chance of it sticking. So let's get our transfer on there. You also want to fuzz your transfers really good. There we go. That feels good. And we're just going to lay this on here when you're laying it on a well we, we did we did a, a paste project yesterday and it was on a cylinder type um, you just have to you just have to kind of work your transfer around to get it to lay down so there's no wrinkles on the silk screen it can be a little bit tricky it just takes it just takes um, patience and um, perseverance. I 
got my three mile walk in today. It was absolutely beautiful. It's warm here today. Um, probably in the low, low 80s, I think, and we're supposed to kind of start warming up this week. little letters. Sometimes what you might need to do is um, lay it down, lift it up, lay it back down, and you may even have to do that before you proceed on to the, the second part of your, or you know, the rest of your project. Because we don't want bleeds under there. have some sun tea sitting on the porch right now. There we go. That, that's pretty good. Let that air sneak back in there. Yes, all of our, Jane was saying some cute things um, going on at ChalkCon. They're um, showing the new products that are coming out. Some of the new products, we're gonna have, I think, three more releases this year. There were some really fun things. So, and there's some changes coming up that's going to make it more afford affordable for you to be a designer if you want to. Really affordable. As soon as I get um, the specific details in front of me, I'll report to you guys. I thought what we do is use uh, Couture Coral and Bumblebee, but we're going to mix these. We're going to make that, you know I like those sunset colors. We're going to make kind of a mixture of this color. Hi Terry, thanks for watching. Who else did I, who else snuck in there? Hi Tammy, thanks for watching. How's everybody's Friday doing? Have any plans for the weekend? I don't think we do. I don't. We're pretty low key around here. We don't um, plan too far out on things. So, I think I want it more yellow, so I'm gonna take one scoop of the yellow, and we'll put a little bit of this couture, and it'll probably make it a little bit orangey. And that's fine, that'll be pretty. It is, it's that, it's, it is a nice color. It is an orangey color, which is great. So I didn't want brown, A little bit more pink in there. I was wanting more of a sunset color. I'm going to leave it so it's not quite all mixed together, so we might get a little variation. That would be fun, I think. All right, we need a small squeegee or a mini squeegee. And let's ink this. And then we'll get the lemons, we'll dry it with the blow dryer to get it semi-dry, and then we'll put some um, lemons on the back. Oh yeah, we got a little bit of the pink and a little bit of the yellow. It spreads really easily over glass. It takes very little. It looks kind of like a, it's kind of a tangerine color, I'd say. And then just go back through and skim it down. You don't want your, you don't want squeegee lines. Okay. And then let's peel it up slowly. So cute. There's the front of it. 
Isn't it cute? So let's try that and then we'll get some, um, we'll get some lemons on it. I'm gonna squirt this off. This little shop that was closing, I asked if they were moving. She said, nope, she's retiring. But it had so many cute things in it. So let's try this. Oh, that looks so good. Hi, Bill. Thanks for watching. What were some of the favorite things that you saw on the Chalk Con um, pictures today, Jane, that you're interested in? I like that little easel. I thought that was really cute. I think you could do a lot with that. thought it was really cute. Some fun Halloween stuff. Cherry tray, yeah, that was cute. I, I wonder how big it is. Because they have little minis on it. So I bet it's not that big, but it would be great for a lot of places. Like my place, I don't have room for a big, I have a big cherry tray, and I just can't quite seem to get it to work for me. <coughs> Still too wet to turn over on the towel. I think what we might do is I might stand it up and see if I can put the lemons on the back. Put the big one. Let's fuzz it. It didn't look real big. I'm so excited they made some surfaces and things to go with it. Yeah, yeah. And that makes it easy, right? We'll put this right in the middle. This one laid down really nicely. And I will we're gonna do this one in the bumblebee. Where the ravens are going crazy in the back. Oh, there must be something back there they're getting. That's what that means. There was a bobcat sighting on my street yesterday. That makes me a little nervous when I'm walking. I'm kind of searching the trees. There's a lot of cougars in this area. And um, another grizzly bear um, attack on, live, on uh, livestock about eight miles from here. The, um, I think what they're saying is that the animals are getting pushed down or something. I don't know. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? I wonder if I want another one of those. I'll think about it. Let's get this one. We'll do him at a little angle. And if I stay off of the if I stay off of the curved part of the jar up here, 
they lay down a lot better. So cute. Let's put one over here. We're just going to kind of randomly place these around. Try not to get it where it touches anything that's wet though. Yeah, once you get up on the curved part, then the transfer kind of wants to do that wrinkle thing. Let's see if that'll work. We might have a bleed on this one. odd angle for my wrist. We did, we got a little bit of a bleed, but I can clean that up, it won't be a problem. Isn't that cute though? Now let's see, let's put a couple of, I like these little juicy squirts. Let's use our made up paste for that, our ink. Just to bring that color around to this side. This is gonna be so cute with tea in it. Randomly placing these little elements around. Oops, that one didn't get any ink in the screen. There we go. Cute. Let's put one here. That's cute. Just <laughs> putting these little these little squirts everywhere. They're so cute. That's good. That is cute. It'd be a cute lemonade jug too, wouldn't it? Okay, let's squirt this one off. I think we're done with the lemon. Okay. Clean my fingers off and then we're gonna make a little tag to go up around the top of it. And we're gonna use the chalk suede tag. Um, it's, it's, they're really promoting that at ChalkCon, so I thought we'd try it. We've tried it before, and I like them. So we're gonna make a little tag, so this would just look so cute sitting on the table.
Uh, see how easy that is? It's so adorable. It's so cute. Um, so let me find the chalk made tag here. I think we'll use the brown one since it's tea. And these are an interesting um, um, material, or, or I don't know what you want to call it. It's not a fabric. It's not a cardboard, but it's it's a um, it's a it's kind of waxy feeling. And we're going to use um, sunshine on my mind. That's how I make my tea. Put it in the sun. I do sun sun tea. So that'll be. I think that'll be cute with this. Whoops. Oh, I pulled right off of there. This is such a cute little mini set. Sunshine on my mind. I'm not gonna fuzz it. It doesn't feel. It doesn't feel. Um, overly sticky at all. And let me use this. A little bit more of this. See if I can get the sun. We can do, oh, you know what we'll do? We'll do a little bit of a, um, oh, I'm using ink. Oh, shoot. This, this should have been paste. But I, I don't know. I'll see if it works. We'll check it out. We'll do a little bit of a hot mess in there or an ombre. It'll have to dry overnight too, but you, don't, you won't heat set it. It might take a long time for it to dry. Didn't think about that. These are all, these are supposed to be uh, reusable too. Um, maybe we'll, let's we'll, let's test it out. Let's see if it's reusable. Let's um, see if we can wipe it off, and we'll do the other we'll do the other side with paste because I'd rather have paste on that. I'll take some water, and it's wet, so it should wipe off. It does, and it wipes off really nicely. <clears throat> Try this. Whoops. Let's get our paste out. <clears throat> we'll get these mixed up. We have the same colors in chalk and ink. Um, not all of them. I'm not even gonna wash this. I think I think we'll be okay. That's crooked. you're supposed to be able to paint these also. And that would be good to know because <clears throat> they have a notebook coming out and they have some uh, all cards, greeting cards coming out. All right, so I am gonna have to I am gonna have to wipe this off I think. I'll just use this wet wipe.
difficult for this little tiny tag. Okay, let me dry it and we'll try again. Whoops. I should have had my mat down there. If you use the microfiber side of your um, fuzzing cloth, it dries it pretty good. And then just put a little air on it, finish drying it. Hey, Bob! Nice to see you. I've missed you. I hope you're feeling better. Okay. I'm going to put it on straight this time. That looks better. Let's do our little ombre. That's a little bit thick. Just a little bit of this. Oops, better skim it down, huh? Hi, Suzanne. Thanks for watching. See if I get the light so it's not reflecting so much on it. Maybe there. That's cute. It'll be cute hanging on our jar here. Okay. So, let me clean this mess up over here. And... dry this and see if we can dry this. Um, <clears throat> like I said, this is going to this is going to sit overnight and dry and then I'll heat set it in the oven tomorrow. This is the chop this is the um, suede tag barb. Um, it's available. Chocolatour sells them. And um, you can you can um, take your design off of it too, so they're reusable, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's really cute. Let's try this just a little bit. Let's see if we can. <clears throat> I have a couple of areas I need to clean up. So the ink does take quite a bit longer to dry, um, and that's one of the nice things is that you have a lot more time to create with it than you do the chalk paste because um, it doesn't dry out on you. Where is our little detail tool? There it is. And I used the little detail tool, and where was it? One of the lemons had a had an area that needed to be. Here it is. So I don't know if you can see. It's still really wet. I think I can just take a Q-tip and wipe that off. So 
I don't want to heat set that um, splinchy thing on there. There we go. Let's see if I can get that ink off too. There we go. The rest of it looks pretty good, I think. So we'll take a piece of this twine. Is that going to fit around there? Mm, I don't think so. Might need a might need a bigger piece of twine. Let's see here. Well, anyways, I'll get a bigger piece of twine or ribbon, and um, it'll just be for when it's sitting outside on the porch, getting the sun tea ready. Isn't that cute? Bring on the sun, sunshine. Um, <clears throat> Sweet tea. I should have put sun teas, raised on sun tea, because I was. I can barely tie this in a knot back here. You know me and my fingers. I'm going to leave it right like that. There it is. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, that's today's project. I'll be back tomorrow to chalk and talk with you, God willing. Until then, enjoy the rest of your Friday evening. Let me make sure I don't have any questions. You will heat set in your oven the glass. Yeah, this is this is like a milk bottle, so it's meant to be um, sterilized at a high temperature, so I'll do that. And, you know... I think, I, I think it'll be fine. <laughs> that was my thought on it anyway. Hi, Donna. Hi, Patricia. Be, care don't, be careful, Rhonda says. What was, I, what was I doing, getting too close to the ink? Yeah, it was pretty dicey there for a minute. Didn't look big, but I'm okay. I think I got everybody's. Thanks, Donna. Okay. Well, that's it for today. I'm just going to let it sit there. I'm going to clean my transfers. And then I'm going to go um, reheat some dinner. So um, until we chalk and talk again, take good care.